My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here. Back at you with another review for Arrow. And this is episode number 20. And it's titled Seeing Red. Now, in, at the end of last week's episode, we saw that now Oliver and Team Arrow are going to find a cure for the Mirakuru. So they could be able to cure Roy, probably mainly, and be able to take down Slade's army. Now, in this episode, um, the Mirakuru pushes Roy into a furious rage. I mean, there is no talking to him. There is no trying to use words to calm him down. But eventually, after he kills a police officer, Oliver realizes that the mirror crew has complete control over him. And even Thea tried to um, calm him down. Yeah. And because of um, <clears throat> Sarah thinking that Roy is totally out of control, she was going to kill him, literally kill him, but Oliver was able to sedate him the same way that he did with Slade a few episodes ago. Yeah, so uh, this episode was really just based around um, Roy and his rage with the mirror crew. But um, honestly, it was kind of it's kind of cool to have. Um, to see how strong a person can be if they don't even use their mind. I mean, gosh, and Slade's already a trained killer. Just think how powerful it's, how much it's going to take. If he cannot even take out Roy, and Roy has no training. All he has is street smarts. That's all he has. But um, there were some other things that happened, but I want to say spoiler alert in case you have not watched the episode. So watch the episode and you can listen to this part. Uh, at the end of the episode, um, Slade uh, uh, makes his, the limo that him, Thea, and his mother were in and gives Oliver the same choice that... <clears throat> Uh, the doctor, um, the doctor, had given him to kill Shadow or to kill Sarah, and Oliver didn't choose anyone. But oh, Moira, she willingly gave herself up, and she was murdered. She was killed. Now, I have to say, probably it is a shocking death, but. For me, someone that's familiar with the comics, um, it kind of makes sense for the fact that in the comics, both his parents are dead, not just his father. Yeah, and even we saw flashbacks of a time that um, Oliver almost became a father, and th I guess this would, takes place before he went on the Gambit, the Queen Gambit. Yeah. I have to say, um, shocking. So he has a son that's probably six years old, five, six years old out there, a son or a daughter. So maybe this is something, some type of foreshadowing for the next season. That's what I'm thinking about. But all in all, I have to say this was a really enjoyable episode. The season has been uh, really good overall. Not uh, not like how the first season was. Um, how the first season, yeah, there was like a, one or two episodes in the beginning. And at the last part of the season was like when it started to truly become good. But we only have like three more episodes until we have to wait until season three. Which we already know has been renewed for a while. So um, not only 
just like I said last week, not only do I want to hear your thoughts and opinions about the episode, but I also want to hear your favorite stuff from the season. I mean, you could say multiple things. It doesn't matter to me. And also, Free Comic Book Day is on, uh, only a week and a half away. So uh, I want to ask you guys, um, <clears throat> are you going to participate in Free Comic Book Day? Well, I am, and I plan to do a haul and maybe put um, some better, some different type of humor in there. But uh, all in all, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the next three episodes because of this shocking ending to the uh, to this episode. But uh, my name's Jimmy, and until next time, bye.